Rama Pages. Here is Sandhya back with a new topic for you today. Today we are going to learn how to write a postcard. Though we are very advanced in our technology, we all know that letters and the postcards they have their own places. Now, as this is a minor discourse carrying five marks, we are going to discuss how the format of the postcard would be and what is the correct style of writing the postcard before going to explain uh, about the format of the postcard let me tell you about the rules my dear students just imagine that this is the answer script given to you in this answer script you are supposed to draw two horizontal rectangular boxes These are the two horizontal rectangular boxes where you are supposed to draw in your answer sheet. These show the front and the back side of the postcard. Now let me tell you, here this is side number 1. And here comes the side number 2 of the postcard. This rectangular box, first rectangular box, you are supposed to mention the place from where you are writing the letter. I mean uh, you should not write the complete address of yours. Complete address is totally wrong. You shouldn't write the complete address. You are, uh, you are supposed to write only the name of the place. And next comes the date. And next the salutation. And now comes the content. And we know that postcard is a kind of informal piece of communication where it is uh, pretty short when compared to the normal informal letter and your content should not exceed more than two paragraphs. You are supposed to confine your, uh, the entire content or the topic or the message you are sending to the opposite person in only two paragraphs and the style should be in a conversational style and you have to hit the point directly because you are going to write the number of words in a limited manner that's why you are going to write the complete message very shortly and here the word limit should be only 50 word limit is 50 so now coming to the side, I mean, uh, second side of the postcard. This second side of the postcard is divided into two squares. And here in the second, I mean, the first square, you are going to continue, continuation of the content. And next, after that, you are going to have the complimentary close complimentary close as well as the name of the sender this is the easy way of writing the postcard where you don't have many things to remember the only thing you need to remember is the place from where you are writing the postcard and this is the date here comes the salutation and here comes the content content should be very brief i have told you earlier and this will be the continuation of the content and complimentary close like yours faithfully or with regards or with love you give the complimentary close and write the name of the person i mean if you are writing you have to write your own name in the question paper if the name of the sender is given you have to imagine yourself that you are that particular person and you should write the name if the name is not mentioned you are supposed to write only xxx and now let us go into the second side of the rectangle so this second side you will be you are going to draw the lines so here comes the name of the receiver name of the receiver and you have to write the complete address of the receiver okay and here comes the pin you need to write even the pin code one two three four five six yes so you need to write even the pin code 
sometimes you will be writing a letter to other, other town or the city or the other country where you have to give the complete address of the receiver but here when it comes to the place you are not supposed to give the complete address just only the name of the place has to be mentioned now you have the blank space about this one here will be a small square towards your right hand top right hand corner of the box so this box is the place reserved for the stamp you need to just to draw a small box and you have to write like this this is the easiest way to write the postcard and coming to the uh, marking scheme so for writing the place you are going to get half mark half mark and for the date it is another half mark and for the salutation another half mark and for uh, the name of the sender you're going to get another half mark and the name of the receiver and his address for that you're going to get one mark so half half here two two plus one three and the content together is two marks totally we are going to have it for five marks now i'm going to show uh, the real way of writing the postcard simply I have explained only the rules now I'm going to give a situation to you where a person writes to another person following the same rules now let us take an example of a question that appeared in the question paper this is a sample question let us read the question you are Lalit Kumar working for a private firm in Mumbai you are to go home on leave on 21st February 2018 but you are unable to do so as you have some urgent work to do you are not sure of the date of your arrival so this is a situation for that write a postcard to your parents in Kolkata using not more than 50 words so this is the question where I will show you the complete writing of the postcard. Now, here is the answer for the question which I have uh, given you earlier. See, first of all, this is the name of the place I have taken. As the person is working in Mumbai in a firm, I have taken the name of the place from where he started writing the postcard. So, this is the name of the place and here comes the date and this is the salutation as he is writing a postcard to his parents so i have taken dear father and this is the content this content should be very brief we know that actually he has to come home on 21st of february 2018 but due to some of the reasons he has to express his inability for not coming home so here i have taken the reason behind for not uh, coming home on that particular day. I got my leave sanction from 21st February 2018 but I am unable to leave for Kolkata on the same day as I have to complete an important assignment. Moreover, my boss is expected to visit the firm on 22nd February 2018 for the staff appraisal. I should come home immediately after my appraisal. So this should be very brief. You shouldn't exceed 50 words. Suppose by chance if you had exceeded by two to three words, or two or three words, half mark will be deducted from your main marks. Half mark. And if it crosses more than four, four words, more than four words, so your one mark gets deducted from the main marks. So be careful, my dear children. Let your word limit not cross 50 and this is the complementary close complementary close and here comes the name of the person given this is the sender's name so all these have been satisfied for this you're going to get half 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 and here together half mark and next comes this will fetch you one mark here on the top line you are going to write only the name of the person not anything else then comes the address of the person at last pin code is mandatory if you do not know the pin code of a particular thing you just just write pin and give the empty boxes 
and this particular column is mandatory and here comes the small square box towards your right hand uh, top corner so I told you earlier this space is meant for the stamp you are supposed to draw a small square empty box so and this has to be drawn in two boxes you might have observed very clear clearly here I have taken one box, one horizontal rectangular box where I have written the content. This content should also be, I mean the main content should occupy the first rectangular box and rest of the matter should come in the second one. If you have enough space, you can write the whole matter over there and the last paragraph you might have seen. Uh, here I have taken only a single paragraph. If you want, you can go with two paragraphs. If you do want to go with the two paragraphs, here you can stop till here, till here as paragraph number one and from here you can write it as paragraph number two. This paragraph number one also can be fit into this uh, rectangular box if there is enough space for you in the answer sheet and only the second paragraph can come into the second side of the rectangular box and uh, word limit has to be followed very strictly and your points whatever you are writing they should be very brief and it should be in a very conversational style you shouldn't go in a very formal style because we all know that this is an informal piece of communication and this is a second box in the second rectangular box make sure that at, at the beginning itself as soon as you take the answer script whenever you start writing the postcard just draw the two boxes and the second box you divide that into two uh, square boxes so that it will be easy for you to uh, write the receiver's address that's all this is all about the postcard so I think my class is very clear to you all the children and hereafter I'll be coming up with new videos on many grammar skills and the writing skills like this and thank you a lot for watching all my videos with a lot of patience and here I'm going to sign off and please do subscribe to my channel post your comments share like and encourage me like this whatever I mean in whatever the way you have done previously thank you so much